What is going on, guys? Nick Baldwin, regional technology trainer for the Michigan and Northern Ohio region of Keller Williams. And one of the questions I get asked a lot is, Nick, I cannot get images that I put into landing pages to mobile optimize. Well, I got you covered. Check this out. Here's what you do to mobile optimize your landing pages. You can now use this technique to create actual individual pages on your website for your listings, not just feature listings at the bottom, but actual listings in the drop down menu, like one, two, three, Main Street, three, four, five, Main Street. All right, so here's what you're going to do I'm just going to show you how to do it really quickly with an image, okay? We are going to go into content blocks and we're going to grab the image, uh, the image widget. Let's drop, that in, drop this in here, and I'm just going to grab um, any image. I'm going to use um, one of my, uh, let's use this one. Let's just, let's just use this. It doesn't really matter which one I use. So I want to show you how, how, how you make it mobile responsive, okay? So in the past, the issue we've seen is we click on the phone icon, and that's not mobile responsive. What the heck? We click on ta uh, tablet. doesn't work. Um, it obviously does work for, uh, for desktop. Right now, some image it, now some images might look like this when you add it. Um, still not mobile responsive. Now, what you want to do with each each section, desktop, tablet, and mobile, what you have to do is you have to grab a, uh, the little uh, blocks, little squares on the corners, and drag it to the corner of the page. Then go over to tablet. Now, with tablet. You have to shrink it. So grab it and pull down. Okay. And then with phone, same thing. You got to shrink it. Let me just fix that a little bit. Okay, there we go. So what now now what you do here after this is then you start adding different types of content blocks. So watch this. I go to desktop, tablet, phone. And so when you actually do publish it, it does work. It does work. I have tested it. So um, I want to throw just another content block in here or a widget. Let's say we're going to do um, a download my app widget. So let's throw this in here. Okay, so there's the download of my app widget. Um, like say you're making a, 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 a custom app download landing page, it'll work. See, there we go. Tablet, desktop, tablet, phone. So that's how you do it, guys. That is how you create a mobile responsive custom page for a standalone page or for your website. Um, and if you wanted to do this and create uh, create um, you know one of these pages for your website to feature a specific listing in your drop down menu, um, you know you just add the photos, make them mobile responsive like I showed you, and then go into the content blocks and you're going to use the different text options and type a little bit about it. Uh, and then you know you go into the widgets and you use um, the lead form, which will then tell people to uh, leave their information if they want more information about it. So um, it's very cool. I'm, I, I just kind of like played around with this and figured it out. And that's how you do it. You have to resize the image for every single device. So hope that helps. Um, and uh, you know, I hope that that helps and brings some clarity on how to create mobile responsive sites and um, landing pages. Have a good one, guys. See you soon.